Okay, this is a, a new series that we're creating uh, at Money Button, which is basically a, a bunch of documentation around Bitcoin SV and Money Button. And so it's not just Money Button. We, we think that there's a need to basically document um, how to make apps that do Bitcoin SV stuff. And so we're going to create some videos and a bunch of tutorials and documentation and things like that uh, integrated into our documentation and our app uh, over time here. So we're starting with big numbers because big numbers are basically the most basic thing that you need to know if you're actually going to be programming apps. So anything involving cryptography, hash functions, script, uh, big numbers are relevant to all this stuff. Uh, and you have to understand something about what are big numbers uh, to be able to do all these things. Um, so let me start here. I'm going to share my screen and, and uh, look at a terminal here uh, to demonstrate what we're talking about. So let me open my terminal. And OK, do you guys see that? And this time, I'm, I'm sure I have the, the window selected. I can see myself, but uh, yeah. we're looking at uh, uh, my own terminal in the screen share here. So OK, so let me start by uh, basically explaining something about what we're talking about here. So, so let me just open up. I'm inside the BSV library, and I'm going to uh, start by uh, just giving some examples um, about you know, sort of uh, I guess var BSV equals there. We go. So what we're talking about. Okay. So first of all, in JavaScript, we have numbers built in. There's a basic type that's just called number. And you can do things like add two numbers together or multiply numbers, right? So one plus one is two, of course, and five times two is 10, of course. Now, it turns out that actually JavaScript numbers are double precision floating point numbers in C or C++. Uh, there's a standard for it. It's like IEEE something something for what the standard is. They're not perfectly precise. So when you start getting up to large numbers, so I'll give you a small example of uh, first. So two to the power of four is 16 plus one, 17, obviously. But when you start getting up to 53 bits is where things start to break down. So two to the 53 is that number right there. Two to the 53 plus one, JavaScript gives me back the same number again. That's because the precision is about 53 bits. So as soon as you get up to two to the 53, uh, things start to break and you no longer have full precision. Now I'm going to give a, a demo here about why this matters in Bitcoin. So uh, I'm going to make a, a new number here. Let's call this, uh, uh, call this, uh, well, I'll start by creating a, um, call it, I'll call it hex here. I'm going to generate a new random value here. Uh, 32 bytes long. And I can do like hex on two string and show you guys what this looks like. So this is just, what this is is a long random number. It's written in hex or base 16. So using the library, I can do this. I'm gonna create a new big number, which is from this. Uh, and the way I'm gonna do that is bsv.crypto.bn from buffer, buffer.from hex, In dot two string. So this is that number that I just created, written down in base 10 as a number. We can write it down in base 16. Hopefully that comes out to be the same thing there. Ends in 56, ends in 56, uh, starts in 34, starts in 34. So in base 16, that's the same number. This is what it looks like in base 10, the number, you know, sort of uh, the way of writing it that we're all familiar with. Everything is uh, Big Indian by default. We'll come back to this in a minute here, but basically the most significant digit is on the left like you would normally expect. Now what you can do is I can, I can actually add another number to this. So this one ends in two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add to my big number here. I'm going to make a new one, uh, bsv.crypto.bn dot from string one. Dot two string. So now it ends in a three. So I've successfully added the number one to it. And so you can see why this matters. So let me start up here with my two to the 53, where I wasn't able to add one to it. I'm now gonna be able to add one to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new number here. So I'm gonna overwrite this one. BN equals, let's just call it BN2. Our BN2 equals uh, bsv.crypto.bn from, yeah, I'll, I'll do from string just because I wanna make sure this works and I know that the string is gonna work. Two to the 53, 
dot two string. So BN two dot two string. 292. Okay, so there it is. It's this number. It's 2 to the power of 53. Now, I can add to this 1. BSV uh, BSV.crypto.bn from string 1 dot 2 string. Now it actually worked. I was able to add the number 1 to that. Okay, so that gives you the idea for what you can do here with, with the big number library. It's all about managing numbers precisely because in Bitcoin, we have 256-bit numbers, which are about this big here, like this written in hex or this written in uh, base 10. We have to be able to have full precision for 256-bit numbers. And so we have to use a library like this because JavaScript doesn't have this stuff built in. So now what I'm going to do is let's go look at the, uh, the documentation, actually. Brian, so, just a yeah, quick question. Does this work also with floating point numbers? Like if you have 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 in JavaScript that does precision, does this work with, with that kind of things? Good question. So the big number library does not work with floating point numbers. It does right. work with positive or negative numbers. Uh, but if you try to pass in floating point numbers, it will silently fail. So it'll start giving you results that are just totally wrong. And it does that because the, this library is written to be as fast as possible, so it doesn't do a lot of error checking. So you have to check up front. So do not pass in floating point numbers into this thing or it's gonna give you wrong wrong answers. <laughs> so, sadly, that's, that's how it is. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let me do, I'm gonna stop screen sharing. Now let me go to, uh, I'm gonna share another window and look at the documentation here. There we go. Okay, you guys see my documentation there? Yes. Okay, okay so uh, so this is just, we're, we're gonna put all this documentation on moneybutton.com or docs.moneybutton.com. So we're gonna have full documentation for not just Money Button itself, you know, you can see things like all our different ways of using Money Button, but BSV, this library is gonna be fully documented right here inside because basically anything you wanna do that's gonna be advanced We'll need all of this information, so it's going to have one location where you can you can access all this all this info. So anyway, back to big numbers. Um, this is just a description of, of things you can do. This shows you some of the operations that you have access to: add, multiply, subtract, divide, modulus, and inverse modulus. So every single one of these things are used inside the crypto. So things like ECDSA actually uses inverse mod, for example. Like this is actually important, and you have to be able to do that, and that is used inside ECDSA. Um, you have basic comparison operations, so EQ, GT, LT, so e equal to, greater than, less than, and comparison is just like a like a like a generic comparison method that returns you know neg negative one or a positive one if it's less than or if it's greater to, uh, and then zero if it's equal to. Um, so that's a common sort of method to have on a library like this. Uh, and then there are a few examples here of of ways you can uh, convert to and from buffers. So what you end up having to do in Bitcoin an awful lot basically is you have a buffer or binary data. You need to convert it into a big number, do some operations on it, and then convert it back into a buffer again. And there are a few different ways to do that. So the best way to see this is actually, we'll just go ahead and look at the documentation directly. So let me stop my screen share again, do yet another screen share here and look at the docs, or sorry, look at the, uh, the source code directly. Um, so, inside, so this is the file that is big number inside this library. Uh, we now have slightly improved documentation inside the library. And as we go through here creating docs, I'm updating the like the source code to have documentation as well. So I would recommend actually reading the source code for anybody that's using these things. If you have questions, the source code is fairly easy uh, to read and there's, it's, everything's going to be well documented as we create these videos. So anyway, you can see that what this really is, is our code is a wrapper for a different library called bn.js, which is created by Fedorum.ni. Fedorin Dutney, uh, so this goes all the way back to 2014 when he created this library. He created this and a couple of other tools. He created hash functions and an elliptic curve library, both of which are used inside BSV. We use them because they're very fast. So they were the fastest implementations of the cryptography necessary for Bitcoin way back in, in 2014. And, and as, as far as I'm aware, it's still the fastest uh, version of all this cryptography that inside of every JavaScript application, people are using that crypto. So it's just a wrapper for that. So you don't see things like add, mold, divide, and whatnot in here because that's actually already included in this library. So you can see that there. 
what we have here in the wrapper are things like converting a big number from a number, from a string, or from a buffer, or in this case, uh, something called sign magnitude, which is a, uh, a way of representing positive or negative numbers uh, as a buffer. And we always have to distinguish between big Indian and little Indian. Uh, you know, big Indian is where I'll just write this uh, quickly in the source codes for, for anybody to understand here. If I write the number 1000 in big Indian, it looks like that. If I write it in little Indian, it looks like that. So big Indian, you know, is the natural way to write numbers. Little Indian uh, is backwards. So almost no one writes things in little Indian unless you're an x86 computer, in then case everything is little Indian. So the computers themselves actually have everything in little Indian. This matters inside Bitcoin because Bitcoin mixes and matches like big Indian and little Indian, unfortunately. Half of things are big Indian and the other half of things are little Indian. So you do have to actually understand that uh, to, to know why certain choices are made inside of uh, Bitcoin transactions and blocks and things like that. So anyway, uh, that is all the stuff inside this library. And so we'll come back to this as we go through things like hash functions and elliptic curves and ECDSA and script, because these things are used over and over and over again. And so big numbers will be something that is just, you know, it's like, it's a, it's a good starting point. If you want to understand stuff, we start here because basically it's going to show up over and over and over again. So that's it. Um, what do you guys think? Any uh, comments, questions? No, it's just uh, we recommend that probably in the future, big numbers are going to be supported natively by JavaScript. But right now, we have to use uh, these kind of tools because, well, we want to work with big numbers and it are not supported natively, basically. Yeah. And yeah. well, just that, as a quick summary, basically, the, the, the trick is wrap the numbers around using VM, and with that, you, you can operate ECD. There's nothing more than that. Yep. So what happens when if somebody is doing big numbers and needs some kind of support or have any questions? What they should do? Hmm. Good question. They should, first of all, visit moneybutton.com as our sort of primary location. We'll have links to everything there, uh, including our Telegram group. But if they need help specifically, come join our Telegram group at t.me slash moneybuttonhelp. Uh, and we are in there uh, helping people do these types of things. Uh, obviously, it's focused on money button, but because people have questions about all this stuff, uh, we're happy to help people with Bitcoin or, or you know, JavaScript stuff uh, as needed to help uh, people create apps that do Bitcoin stuff. So t.me slash money button help. In the future, we'll probably have uh, sort of support and help and documentation stuff integrated into our main app. Uh, but uh, for now, uh, our Telegram group is, is definitely the best place to... Uh, to get help. Okay, um, let me see here. So I guess in summary, um, you know, this is the first of a series we're going to start creating. So this is all about big numbers and we'll have everything else that you need to know to be able to build uh, JavaScript Bitcoin applications. Um, and the best place for information for now is moneybutton.com and you can visit docs.moneybutton.com and we'll have links to um, all of the different things we mentioned here. So the different libraries and everything, we'll, we'll post this in the YouTube video, and it'll also go inside of our documentation directly uh, so that you guys can can click around and see all of the uh, all the information and, and learn uh, whatever you wanna learn about these things. All right, did I forget anything? <laughs> yeah, great. No, tough things in there. Okay, all right, well, I guess that's all. And uh, see you guys uh, you know, uh, in the next video. All right, I'm going to stop broadcast here.